Shapes that you can put together to make other shapes. It goes on the second shelf down there in the middle. And some of you were looking at the shape cards to come up with your lines of symmetry. And some of you were looking at the quadrilateral puzzle to come up with your quadrilaterals, which some of you found that it was not as easy as you thought it was, right? So, before we get to that puzzle, I want some of you to tell me about the symmetry that you went over. I'm going to show you just a minute one of these apps that I found that you can look at when you get home. Um, let's see, who, the card, the shape card, you can start and explain to us what you came up with. Let me see your paper. Okay, so this is what she had here. If you didn't have this, you're going to have it tomorrow. Okay. So if you're looking at this. Now she drew these lines in there. You might not agree with this. I don't agree with some of them. But if you didn't do it today, you're going to see it tomorrow. So this kind of gives you an idea. So if you look at these shapes, what is this one here? Okay, what is this shape here? All right, what is this shape? Okay, like a cross. Okay, what is this one down here? Yes. A triangle. Then you have a square. Then you have a arrow. All right, Quincy. When you do symmetry, you have to, like we did a while ago, fold something in half, right? And it's supposed to be the same on both sides. Like if you look in the mirror, do you see your face in the mirror? Just like it is on your body? Yes, yeah, it's the same thing. So she took this circle. Well, I, I don't do the circle right now. I want to do this triangle. Did you fold that over? Yes. Or you fold it and it matches? Okay? So if you fold it over, it matches, right? If you fold it over, you can't see it there, but it does. You said there's just one? I wish I had my smart board going because I could really show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll do it like this. Let me show you. And one of the things you had to make was equilateral triangle. I can't see it very well. Okay, you remember? Okay. Now, you see a little bit better? Yeah. Okay, now, this equilateral triangle, right? You said it's symmetrical. If I draw a line here, okay, and go through it, which is right. How many vertices are in a triangle? Three. Three. Okay. In an equilateral triangle, are all the sides the same? No. Yes. no. Yes. Raise your hand. Yes. All the sides are the same in an equilateral triangle. Quentin, whatever you're doing, I would stop. We're not doing classwork right now. Homework. Okay. If all the sides, think about it. If all the sides of an equilateral triangle are the same, are all the angles the same? Yes. yes. Raise your hand if you say yes. Why are they all the same? Because. Because why? Because like, if, if every angle is equal, then um, when they meet, they're going to make all the same 
Those angles, when they okay, in an equilateral it. triangle, those sides are the same, all right, by definition, they're equal, right? Okay. You said there was one line of symmetry. That's true. There's one down the middle. What if I take this and I turn it around this way? There is the point again at the top. Does it have another line of symmetry going down the other side? Yes. Can I draw it again? No. No? Yes. If I could fold this over, would it match? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. What if I turn it to the other vertex there? Is it going to match? Yes. If I fold it over? Yes. So how many lines of symmetry does an equilateral Three. triangle have? Three. Three. Every vertex, I can draw the line at every vertex to the opposite side, and it's going to match, right? Okay. But you saw it had one on that side. Okay. But what I want you to try to do was look at if you turn it around, is that shape going to have another symmetry? Now, knowing that, and it just went off, knowing that, are there any of the answers you want to fix? Yep. Those of you that did the, the shape thing today, is there anything that you want to fix on this? Knowing what I just told you. Yes, you do? You want to fix some on yours? Okay. Knowing what I just told you, you could go back and fix it later. Um, okay, so tomorrow we'll get, I, I want to give everybody else a chance to talk. Now, so do you see what you did? You got one of them right, but it also has, you've got another vertex down here, and you have another one on the other side, right? So it's equilateral, so you can cut it three ways, right? Okay. And knowing that, I bet you'll be able to think about the circle, the hexagon, all right, and come up with a correction. Um, I'll do what? A circle has a... Ah! I'm wanting somebody else to see something in just a minute. Okay. You are here. Circle has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. I know what you're going to say, but I want you to hold on to it for just a minute. Okay. Now, who had the pattern block? No, not the puzzle. The pattern block. The pattern block. You had the pattern block. Okay. I want you to explain to us what you did. What you were supposed to do. We were supposed to. You gonna talk? Okay. Go ahead. Tell us what you. What you were supposed to do? We had, we had to make um, polygons with, with different shapes. Okay, so you were supposed to make polygons with different shapes. The different mm -hmm. pattern box. What pattern box did you have? There was no hexagons, uh, squares, triangles. Okay, so you had the you had the small square, you had a, a trapezoid, you had a hexagon, you had a small triangle, you had a parallelogram, rhombus that you had to use to make different polygons. Okay, so what did you what did you come up with? What did you decide? We uh, we used two triangles to make the diamond. Okay, so you can put two triangles together to make a diamond. All right, let me do it real quickly for you. Because those of you doing this tomorrow, you're going to be able to think about the same thing. So you use two triangles like that. Okay. What if I turn it like this? What is it? Well, some people call it a diamond, some people call it a rhombus. Okay. A rhombus diamond. You know, but in order for it to be a rhombus, it has to have what kind of size? Okay, so now you made a diamond. So you can use six triangles to make a hexagon. All right. What else?